What's up? I just got home from. Well, you can't see now, but I was at the TGT because that's where I work. The Target, the Target, you know, all that. And um, I don't know if you guys know yet. Well, if you don't know, you will find out now about me. This is one thing you will find out about me. I am a coffee freak. A flavored coffee freak, that is. There's a difference. You have your coffee freaks, and then you have your different variations of coffee. Um, I am a different variation of a coffee. Um, I am a coffee freak. I'm a flavored coffee freak. Let me correct that. I'm sorry. My first love became... Dunkin' Donuts, and which is my favorite of all time. I have almost, well, every bag of Dunkin' Donuts coffee that my store carries. So that's, well, almost. We have original, decaf, turbo, and then you get into your flavors. You have hazelnut, cinnamon spice, almost my favorite. Um, and then you have French vanilla. And then you go into the seasonal spices, I mean seasonal flavors, which are mocha mint, which I don't own right now because I think when I wanted to buy it, they were out. You have vanilla. Um, we don't have that anymore. I went on clearance. Uh, I was trying to buy it today. They just came out with something called almond, toasted almond, which I was going to pick up, but it doesn't really smell right. And then you have... Um, I believe that's it. Yeah, I believe that's it. And then, you know, my other choice, if I can't have this, is um, Folgers. Folgers, they make this one brand called um, Gourmet. Now, I have two brands of that. It's called um, Morning, I think it's called, not Morning Glory, but Morning something. That really doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't have any flavor. But they make flavor gourmet coffees. But my favorite my fr ugh, favorite, I'm sorry, my speech is like going. My favorite from their line of gourmet coffee is called uh, Vanilla Biscotti. It's just like, oh my God. But that's not what I can talk to you about. Dunkin' Donuts. Bless their hearts. I hope they keep this as a regular thing. Even though I haven't even tried it yet. It just looks beautiful. I'm going to show it to you. You want to know what I'm talking about? Alright, I'm going to show you I'm referring to this. You see what that say? Do you see what that say? Strawberry shortcake. Who in the world will make a straw? And it smells so good. Strawberry shortcake coffee. Are you serious? Oh, also, um, I, I drink Starbucks as well. Um, I have Starbucks caramel coffee, which tastes like burnt caramel. Ugh, Jesus. My brother uses it. He drinks it. He says he likes it, but it depends on how strong you want it. I always make mine strong because, you know, the tablespoons that you use, I use a French press. Everybody uses a coffee maker, but no. I use a French press because it's easier. It's To me, you just, you know, and go. You don't have to sit there and put a filter. I got to buy filters for it. No, mine already comes with a filter. You just plunge down. Add some water, hot water, let it sit for a minute, plunge down, dump it out, you know. Pour your, pour your coffee, put your cream, your sugar, whatever, and then dump it out. And then you're ready to go. You don't have to buy filters or nothing. So that, 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 that's the pros and cons of that. But I use um, Starbucks coffee. Um, they have flavors too. They have vanilla, cinnamon, and caramel. Um, I have, like I said, I have the caramel. I have yet to try the, uh, the vanilla and the cinnamon. I'm scared to try the cinnamon. But the thing about theirs is that it's really, really strong. That's the thing. The... The um, this is six ounces of water per scoop, right? Versus theirs is double that, so you have to put two ounces per six ounces, of, um, two spoons per six ounces of water, I believe. Um, I don't know if I can show you what the cup is. Hold on, wait one second. I don't want to move. I don't think I'm gonna move. Do I want to move? Uh, let's see. Cause today's trash day. So, let me see. Don't laugh at my room. Today's trash day. Uh, where is my? Okay. Got this. Where's my biscotti? Right here. Okay. All right. 
Okay. So, with that being said, my room is kind of janky because I'm in the midst of cleaning it. Alright. This is my old French press. This is what, a three cup? Something like that. I have the now, I have the gigantic one that uh, Buana uses on Buana TV. I have that one. So if you go watch his video, Buana.com, whatever you want to call it, just look up Buana TV. And the same wine press he uses, I use. So this was my first one as an experiment. It was cool. It still is cool. You know, it's whatever. But anywho, when I got the bigger French press, why is my hair just. Jeez. This is the grandma coffee that I was talking about. Vanilla biscotti. Oh my god. It is so. It smells. The thing about it is that it's really, really sweet. It smells sweet. It smells like syrup. Maple syrup. That's what it smells like. Maple syrup. That's what it smells like. But when you taste it, it tastes so good. With the right. I like three sugars, four creams. Or vice versa. But. What I can't find right now. What I can't find right now is my scoop that came with my bigger French press. But this bag is full because it's supposed to be morning cafe light roast. That's just nasty. I don't drink that. And then I have the Starbucks espresso. It's cool. It's all right. It's strong, which is supposed to be because it's espresso. And then I have um, what else do I have from Starbucks? Like I said, I have the caramel crap. And then I had the cinnamon spice, which I probably still do have. And then I had the um, the hazelnut, which is probably all gone now because I drank that the first day I got that. Like I drank it like that. I need to go buy that French vanilla. That's the one I didn't touch, and I wouldn't want to go buy turbo. And yeah, cause this one says I'm talking a lot, but this one says two teaspoons. For every six fluid ounces of water, this one says freaking 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 one tablespoon. Wait, is this tablespoon or teaspoon? Yeah, these are both tablespoons. So this one, the regular ones like the Dunkin' Donuts, is one tablespoon. Actually, this is one and a half, one and a half teaspoons. I'm sorry, tablespoons. I, I'll keep checking it up. This is one and a half per six ounces of water. This is one per six, six ounces of water. And this is two per six ounces of water. So it depends on your brand of coffee, your choice of coffee. Because, you know, you may it, um, end up with something that's great. You may end up with something that's bad. But me, either way, I start with, what, six scoops. Because my scoop is kind of... It's a um six I think it's a six ounce scoop. I can't find it. It's not here. I don't know where I put it. I don't know if my brother stole it. It's not in here. But I can't find it. But when I do, I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee and baby. This bad boy right here. Let me open this up. Ugh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god, I don't even have to. It's just, oh my god. You can smell the strongness of the coffee, but then it, as, as you waffle it, you smell the strawberry just coming off of the coffee drop. Like, yeah. So, I don't want to go do this tonight. I probably will just being all excited or whatever, but I might not because... I need to go to bed because I need to get up at 7 in the morning. I just got home and I got to go to bed already. But yeah, that is being me talking about uh, my coffee fetish. I have a big coffee fetish. And I love coffee to the death. I love coffee. I love pop. I love electronics. I love music. But I love coffee because it, it, it's something that not everybody likes. Not most younger adults like. Um, it's most common in older people, but not in young adults. So I'm only 23, but I'm not one of those, you know, you know, zingos for coffee. I'm not one of those hooked on um, being hyper and on the caffeine and all that. I mean, I like the taste of it. As far as the caffeine and stuff like that, I'm hyper already without it. So you know, that's how that goes. 
Anywho, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, right, subscribe. I know this was not about an instrument's machine beat or anything like that. Um, just me showing you who I am and letting you get to know a little bit of what I like. What I love. Mmm. And I'm going. Toodles. Bad boy.